guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee. I help engineers and international professionals to get opportunity and the compensation they deserve. Today, we are not going to talk about career topics. I'm going to talk about personal updates. My wedding in China is canceled due to the coronavirus, aka Wuhan virus. The reason I'm filming this video is showing that not everything was very rosy. People fight for their career, for money, for life, for everything. But life usually do not go the way you want it. Sometimes you're thrown down by your life. Just like this, my wedding was canceled. Um, so today in this video, I'm going to give you an update about Wuhan virus from someone who's from China and the information was recorded for people who's in China. And in addition, it's about my wedding planning, what's my plan, how I plan, and why I want to have a wedding in China. So let's start from the proposal first. So my fiancé proposed last summer in a glider at Acadia National Park. Then right after that, we decided to have a wedding in China. So we pick a date, which is May 3rd, 2020 in China. So we have about like a year to prepare for the wedding, let people know. We're very confident, very excited having a wedding in China. However, the coronavirus went out of control. In December 8, 2019, the first coronavirus case was discovered in Wuhan, China. As the case started to evolve, in January 23, 2020, the city was quarantined. Nobody can travel outside of Wuhan, and including multiple cities around it. What make it even worse is recently there was a blow up, which is the second day after Chinese New Year, which is January 26, the whole country got shut down, which means there's no intercity travel. If you want to travel, for example, from my hometown to Shanghai to another city, you will be detected when you land to Shanghai and people will put you in quarantine and nobody will accept you as a guest. So it's highly discouraged to travel in between cities. And in addition, the government told everybody to go to work late and everybody will wear masks and all the small business start to shut down, including restaurants and retail stores. The only places that's open was hospital, grocery store, and also medical stores so they can buy medicine. And everybody else just stay home wearing a mask. For example, my parents, they feel like they're in jail. Just, it's very difficult to walk out. Right now, the entire road in China was pretty empty. What they did is sometimes they wear a mask and walk outside of the block. Just get some exercise, get some like fresh air. But they had nothing to do. That's one of the reasons I'm making this YouTube video. So they have something to watch at the same time because they have nothing to do. And as we continue, we already had 14 U.S. guests confirm that traveling from U.S. to China to attend our wedding. And most of them already purchased the flight. Now, however, on January 31st, 2020, Delta Airlines announced that they're going to cancel all the flights between China and the U.S. starting from February all the way towards the end of April. So which means all my guests are going to get a refund of their ticket. You might think, well, maybe at the end of April, the virus was gone. They can still come in May. Your wedding is in May, right? But think about this. Logistically, how is it possible? The ban was lifted by the end of April, then gonna take the first flight on May 1st and pay my wedding on May 3rd. It is very challenging and also emotionally, I don't think anybody want to go back to China right away, honestly. So therefore, the wedding was canceled. So here comes the question, how's my parents? Thank you for asking this question. My, care, my parents are doing very well. So all my family members are still in China. So right now, they mainly stay home. 
What they feel is very bored, that's it. And the only few cases discovered in my own city. So my city has millions of people, but less than 10 people were diagnosed with that disease. So therefore the risk of being interacted with a person is very low. Most people who diagnose with coronavirus has been already in the hospital and the rest of people like my parents, what they mainly do is stay home. So the next question is, if people stay home, what can they do or cannot do? So what it looks like in China right now is, for example, like my parents, they were told to stay home, so they cannot go out to their community to go to another community to hang out with them. What it means is, if you live in Cambridge, you only hang out with people in Cambridge. You do not go to Boston for grocery shopping. However, they are allowed to go grocery shopping every other day into a different city for the purpose of buying some food. But in general, you're not recommended to go in between communities, in between cities. Now, next question is, as you can imagine, everything was shut down in terms of restaurants and entertainment, karaoke, all the small businesses were shut down. Everything turned online. Cousins company and their company is a pretty big national owned company. They all work from home, so they can still use computers. Just those brick and mortar stores has been heavily impacted because they cannot open their stores. The next question is, what does it look like when people were in quarantine? Let me give you a real life example. For example, my cousin, she was in our hometown in Jiangxi province. Now she needs to travel back to another city to work. The thing is, she doesn't have any disease. She was okay, but when you travel, entering another city, what you need to do is you need to be in quarantine for 14 days. So for her, in her case, they put her in a hotel. So this is a video of her hotel room. She has a bed, just like exactly hotel room, and she works from home in the hotel for 14 days. And she does not interact with other people during those 14 days. After 14 days, if she is okay with no symptoms, she can freely go back to work to do anything to get to join the normal life basically. However, if you are diagnosed with like symptoms or everything, when you are quarantined, your quarantine is a hospital. Only those people who was okay before, they travel back to where they need to work and they stay at other places relative comfortable places for quarantine. I also heard other places when you quarantine, you can stay in offices. They just give you a bed for you to sleep there and give you Wi-Fi so that you can work from anywhere. So in general, that's what it looks like in China right now. And for my wedding, I think the impact of my wedding is relatively small compared with the impact to China and other businesses. So I'm okay, but if you have similar experience regarding how your wedding was impacted, how would you rearrange everything about your wedding, please comment down below so I can learn from you guys. And finally, it's about what do the rest of Chinese do if you do not live inside China? So for example, right now I live in the US, there are other Chinese people living in like Europe, other places, and all the Chinese outside of China start to get united. We start to donate money and start to buy medical stuff and ship it to China. And for example, my other cousin, she's a nurse. She literally sent me pictures of her running on a mask every day. She has to use the old mask from the day before to cover the new mask because those masks are pretty thin and all the hospitals are running out of masks. As a nurse, like she's at the front line dealing with those patients, she's out of mask right now. And so therefore all the Chinese right now will buy masks all over the world from Europe, from US, everywhere you can imagine, then we ship it together to the hospitals in China. There is a nonprofit organization myself donate money to is that they specifically have engineers to watch step by step 
process to make sure the specific masks and medical stuff being delivered to the hospital directly. And this specific group is located in Boston. Myself already donated money to them. And they already $50,000 worth of masks and medical stuff shipped to China already. So the team is still growing. You can see them working really hard right now. If you're interested in either join them or donate money to those organizations, I'm going to put the link down below and hopefully we can all conquer this coronavirus. I have confidence. If you're interested in any career topic, back to my normal product management and negotiation topics, feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. So you can see the newsletter link down below. I'm going to send you some personalized advice and information about what behind the scenes as a hiring manager. All right, I will see you next time. Bye.